Welcome to day two of the third annual Pearson Global Forum, The Climate of Conflict. I'm Kate Baker, Dean of the Harris School of Public Policy, which serves as the academic home of the Pearson Institute and the Forum. For more than 30 years, the Harris School has housed scholars and students dedicated to analytical approaches and evidence-based policymaking to solve the world's toughest problems. And when you look around the world today, from a global pandemic to economic turmoil, to armed conflict, to states in crisis, this is a time more than ever when that kind of hard thinking and analytical approach is more needed than ever. And that's why we're so proud to house the Pearson Institute. Our scholars are dedicated to this approach and we're training a new generation of leaders through coursework and through bridging academic scholarship and practice. It's that bridge that drives real change in the world that we're also dedicated to. And the combination of that bridging of academic endeavor and uh, policy making houses a real important set of scholarship that can drive better solutions than what we've been seeing around the world. Our faculty scholars, including our four Pearson chairs, James Robinson, Andrilla Dubé, Roger Meyerson, Chris Blattman, and so many others around the school are working around the globe from Colombia to Bolivia, to El Salvador, to Nigeria, to Sierra Leone, places where this kind of approach can make a difference for millions of people and where we're making a difference that you're not seeing being made in other institutions around the world. We heard from experts yesterday on issues of climate conflict and the migration effects that we're seeing, including how to address water scarcity, how to address climate migration, how to bridge the gap between what we're learning through rigorous analysis of the conflicts we see around the world and improving light, living conditions and um, economic conditions around the world. And today you're really in for a treat. You have a keynote address from Elizabeth Hume, Vice President for the Alliance for Peacebuilding, a panel on global pandemics, which I'm going to have the honor to moderate. Um, you'll hear case studies on Haiti and Afghanistan. You'll hear a fireside chat from Amb Ambassador Zalmay Khalazad, the Special Representative for Afghanistan Reconciliation. And you'll get flash talks from two Harris faculty, Maria Angelica Bautista and Austin Wright. I think that you'll learn that these approaches can really shape our understanding of how to approach global conflict in multiple dimensions and this climate of conflict that we are seeing play out so starkly around the world demands this approach between the faculty scholarship that you see and the opportunity to interact with policymakers and the students who are getting trained to be the leaders of tomorrow, I am confident that the Pearson Institute and the work of the people involved is making a real difference in the world. And I hope that you'll enjoy the rest of the day as well. Thank you for attending this summit and thank you for your engagement in these crucial issues that you're going to learn more about throughout today and tomorrow as well.